The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to the show. It's March. A lot of great programming this week, including today. Let's get right into it. Uh, we talk very often about kind of the inherent hypocrisy, or not even really hypocrisy, just kind of the nonsense, the lack of logic in um, so many conservatives pushing abstinence only education and reducing access to birth control and then complaining that there's too many abortions. Of course, we know, well, what would decrease the number of abortions? Less people getting pregnant in the first place. And the way you do that is, of course, not to teach abstinence only sex education and not to reduce access to birth control. That we've covered many times, have we not? Right. Well documented, well known. We've covered it many times, yes. Glad you agree. Yeah. So what's been going on in Texas? Because now we have we, we are now starting to see everything coming off of the walls and t states really having significant problems with this that now they are starting to have to backtrack from. Here's an example. Back in 2011, Texas had, of course, a fiscal crunch. So the Texas state legislature cut the state's family planning budget by two thirds, by about 66 percent. And some law lawmakers said that what they were doing by doing this was defunding the abortion industry. Now, that's a loaded term in and of itself. Of course, there was the abortion industry suggesting that abortions, unlike any other medical procedure, which is paid for for profit industry is a for profit, whereas mm -hmm. any other medical procedure, even if it does make money, whether or not it's in a for profit or not for profit venue is not designed for profit. Abortions are unique in that case. So right. we understand that term, don't we? We do. So what happened? Researchers at the University of Texas at Austin found that more than 50 family planning clinics closed across the state as a result of these cuts. So now what's going on? I think we all know what's going on. I think it's any logical, clear thinking individual would know what's going on. Now there are estimates that the cuts could lead to 24,000, 24,000 additional births between 2014 and 2015 at a taxpayer cost of 273 million dollars. So what's going on now? Lawmakers are trying to restore the financing to those family planning clinics without ruffling the feathers of extremist right wing conservatives. Very clearly here, we have conservative religious values getting in the way of needed funding based on science and medical research to prevent pregnancies. Right. Anybody surprised? Nope. You know, at least they realize what's happening here and are willing to try and do something about it without, uh, you know, instead of just sacrificing the, the well-being of their people for their religious ideals. We basically have now people scrambling for a solution, right? Republican state senators have proposed adding a hundred million dollars to a state run primary care program specifically for women's health services because it's not technically family planning, right? If they put the money into family planning per se, the response people would flip out, right? Religious conservatives would go nuts. So instead, it's primary care, which is focused on so-called women's health services. It's basically all more or less all the same thing. This cannot continue. We cannot keep having health issue after health issue unwanted pregnancies, the cost, the fiscally conservative thing is to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies that and, and the religious conservative thing to do would be to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies on the fiscal side because it reduces cost and on the social side because it reduces abortions. Conservatives seem more or less unwilling to do so, at least in Texas here. We see kind of for the wrong reasons, but yeah, it, it still makes sense. Figure doing something that makes more sense. Right. Well, there's something really powerful in the way, and that's called stupidity. Right. There is. Yeah. Stupidity and dogma seems to be what's in the way here. 